Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. Today's topic is Laplace transform. In last lecture also we have discussed Laplace transform, Laplace transform of some standard functions and properties of Laplace transform. Also we have discussed few examples on Laplace transform. Here in this lecture also we are going to discuss few examples of Laplace transform. See the example here. Find the Laplace transform of integration over zero to t sine t upon t dt. Now, Laplace transform of integration over zero to t sine t upon t dt. How to find this Laplace? Transform? First, you find Laplace transform of sine t. Then, using division by t property, you find the Laplace transform of sine t upon t. And then using the integral property, you find the Laplace transform of integration over zero to t sine t upon t. Dt. Now, here f of t is suppose sine t. Laplace of sine t. Sine t, its Laplace transform is one upon f square plus one because the coefficient of t is one. So Laplace of sine t is 1 upon s square plus 1 means laplace of sin t upon t it is division by t property what is the division by t property you integrate that f of s f of s is this 1 upon s square plus 1 you integrate it over s to infinity with respect to s so what is the integration of 1 upon s square plus 1 it is 1 upon 1 because the value of this constant is 1. So 1 upon 1 into tan inverse of s upon 1. So 1 upon 1 means 1. Tan inverse of s upon 1 means tan inverse of s. And the limits are s to infinity. Now we put upper limit infinity. Tan inverse infinity. Tan inverse infinity is pi by 2. So right here pi by 2. Minus, minus sign for lower limit. Tan inverse s. Replace s by s. So we are getting the same function tan inverse s. Okay. To solve this integration, here we are using the formula of ds upon s square plus a square. And its integration is 1 upon a into tan inverse s by a. But the value of a is here 1. So 1 upon a. a is 1, so 1 upon 1. Into tan inverse s upon a. a is 1, so tan inverse s upon 1. So that it is tan inverse s only. Remember it. So Laplace of sine t upon t is equal to pi by 2 into tan inverse s. This is the Laplace transform of sine t upon t. Okay. And pi by 2 minus tan inverse s means cot inverse s. Now Laplace transform of integration or 0 to t sine t upon t dt. Now use here the lap property, integral property, Laplace transform of integral. What is integral property? You just divide the... Laplace transform of sin t upon t by s. Laplace transform of sin t upon t is cot inverse s. You divide it by s only. That is Laplace um, integral property. Laplace transform of integral. So this is your answer here. Now next example is find the Laplace transform of e raised to minus 4t into integration of 0 to t sin 3t upon t dt. Now here in this example also, you find the Laplace transform of sin 3t, then you find the Laplace transform of sin 3t upon t by using division by t property. Then you find the Laplace transform of integration over 0 to t by using integral property. And then you find the Laplace transform of this complete term, e raised to minus 4t into this integral using shifting property. Now, Laplace transform of sin 3t is uh, 3 upon s square plus 9. See here it is 3 upon s square plus 9. Then using division by t property. What is division by t property? You integrate the s, sorry, 3 upon s square plus 9 or s to infinity. Okay. You integrate it. You integrate it. The integration is like this. This t is constant. 1 upon a. a is, uh, this is 9 is a square. The square root of 9 is 3. So 1 upon 3 into tan inverse s by 3 limits s to infinity. D3 get cancelled. And if we put upper limit infinity, tan inverse infinity is pi by 2 minus tan inverse 
you replace s by s so the remove so from tan inverse s by 3 as it is after putting lower limit and it is nothing but part inverse s by 3 this is the laplace transform of sin 3t upon t this part inverse s by 3 but here we want the laplace transform of this integral integration or derivative that's why here Laplace transform of f of t. f of t, what is f of t? We have taken integration or derivative. Now, you know what, what is Laplace transform of sine theta upon t? It is part inverse s by 3. And then use integration property, Laplace transform of integral. Integral means you just divide the term by s. Laplace transform of sine theta upon t, you divide this term by s. That is the Laplace transform of integral property, integration of zero to t sin theta upon t. Now the complete function is here, e raised to minus 40 into integral. Now Laplace transform of e raised to minus 40 into integral term is equal to, now here new shifting property. Now exponential function and with the exponential function, the remaining term is here f of t. Now use their shifting property. The coefficient of exponential function is minus 4, so you replace that s of f of s by s plus 4. So this is your f of s, 1 upon s into part in words s upon t. So here you replace s by s plus 4. So it is 1 upon s plus 4 into part in words s plus 4 by 3. This is your answer. Okay. Next is evaluate integration of 0 to t cos 3t minus cos 2t upon t dt. Now your limits are 0 to infinity. So here we cannot use the Laplace transform of integral property. We can use that property only when the limits are 0 to t. Okay. Look, f of t is equal to here. You assume that this, when limits are 0 to infinity in that case, the function uh, inside the integral is f of t. Cos 3t minus cos 2t upon t is function. Now you first find Laplace transform of cos 3t minus cos 2t. It is equal to, so what is Laplace transform of cos 3t? It is s upon s square plus 9 minus, what is Laplace transform of cos 2t? It is 2 upon s square plus 4. Okay. Now use division by, sorry, division by t property. So, uh, here there is one correction that, Here, there is one correction here. Here is the x division by t. So Laplace transform of cos 3t minus cos 2t upon t is equal to Integration or zero uh, for integration or s to infinity s upon f of s is this function now s upon s square plus 9 minus s upon s square plus 4 integrated with respect to s. This is division by a t property. Now you integrate this term with respect to s. The integration of s upon s square plus 9, the derivative of s square plus 9 is 2s. If you multiply and divide the term by 2, here it will be 2s. 2s means derivative of s square plus 9. So derivative is adjusted in numerator. So its integration is log of s square plus 9 minus same for second term. Multiply and divide the term by 2. So in numerator the term is 2s. Derivative of s square plus 4 is 2s which is adjusted in numerator. So the integration of s, uh, 2s upon s square plus 4 is log of s square plus 4. This is the formula of integration. When derivative is adjusted in numerator, derivative of denominator is adjusted in numerator. The formula is this one. Um, 1 by 2, because we have divided and multiplied uh, the term by 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 constant for both the terms and limits s to infinity. Now we can write log of a minus log of b as log of a upon b. So a is here, square plus 9, b is square plus 4. So we can rearrange the term like this. Now when we uh, put upper limit infinity, the term is 0 because here if you take s square common, the term is 1 plus 9 upon s square. Here also we take s square common, so term is 1 plus 4 upon s square. s square s square gets cancelled. And if you put uh, s is equal to infinity, the term is log 0. When it is 0, okay? Minus, when we put lower limit s, 
If we replace s by s, then we have the same thing. Log of s square plus nine upon s square plus four. To absorb this negative sign, we we'll just change the uh, numerator and denominator. So log of s square plus four upon s square plus nine into one by two. So this is the plus transform of cos three t minus cos two t upon t using division by t for property division by t formula. Okay. Now. We want Laplace transform of this integration. Laplace transform of integration. Sorry, not Laplace. We want the value of this integration. Integration of zero to infinity uh, inside the bracket. The function is there. So, using the definition of Laplace transform, using the definition of Laplace transform, Laplace transform definition is integration over zero to infinity e raised to minus t f of t dt is equal to Laplace of f of t. This is the definition. Now, what is f of t? f of t is this function, cos three t minus cos two t upon t. This is equal to what is its Laplace transform? It is one by two into log of s square plus four upon s square plus. This term as it is. Here we are using the uh, definition of Laplace transform. This is the definition. Means integration over zero to infinity e raised to minus s t f of t is this function here. So replace it by this. It is f Laplace of f of t is this RHS. Now you compare this integration with this one. With this one, here exponential function is absent. Means its value is one. Then so the bracket come only. Now how to make it one? When the value of t is zero, sorry, we cannot put t zero because t is variable. When the value of parameter s is zero, e raised to zero is one. So put s is equal to zero in this integration. So that will get integration over zero to infinity. Exponential function value is one. Cos three t minus cos two t upon t dt is equal to one by two into s is zero. So uh, log of four upon nine. One by two log of four by nine means two by two. And so this is the answer. So this is the example of Laplace transform. These are the examples. Here we try to solve these examples of Laplace transform. So this Laplace transform example over here. Next lecture, we are going to discuss inverse Laplace transform. Thank you.